Each year, one individual is selected to speak on behalf of all graduating students. Today's speaker is Dr. Russell Lede, hailing from Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> Russell is graduating with both an MD and an MBA as, par as part of Tulane's joint program. Now, at the age of 18, he enlisted in the US Navy and later transitioned to the Naval Reserves while pursuing dual degrees at Southern University. He then completed his PhD at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine. We are lucky that Russell chose to continue his medical training right here at the Tulane School of Medicine. As our society grapples with recent violence and racist attacks, we are thankful for Tulaneans like Russell, who act as beacons of hope for a better, safer, and more loving world. In addition to excelling in his studies, co-founding a mentorship program, and serving as class president, Russell also co-founded a trailblazing organization called the 15 White Coats. You all might recognize this photo, which went viral and created a movement. It shows 15 African-American Tulane medical students in front of a former slave quarters at the Whitney Plantation. Today, 15 White Coats under Russell's leadership continues to provide scholarship support and inspiration to the next generation of diverse students, doctors, scientists, and trailblazers. Without further ado, please welcome the class of 2022 student speaker, Dr. Russell Lede. Good day, my fellow Tulaneans. Today, today is a great day. It's not a somber day. It's not a day to reflect on a grade that you didn't get in the desired class. It's not a day to ponder on opportunities that have yet to be realized. It's not a day to focus on failure, for far too often we miss the assignment on how to permit ourselves to celebrate ourselves. I intend to provide credence to the idea that time is non-refundable, so you need to spend it wisely. I'll be before you briefly, yet I'll be before you for the rest of your life. The words I intend to share are in hopes that you walk away with the confidence you so desperately need to conquer today and tomorrow's problems with two-lane vigor. For so many of you, you are the first, the first in your family to grace a campus, the first to receive a degree, the first to breathe the air of academic success, the first on American soil, certainly the first to persevere through the COVID-19 pandemic, the first, simply the first. Remember what this moment of accomplishment means for your root, for where you come from, spiritually and physically. I want nothing more than for you to be proud of you in this moment. Take a second and say, I'm proud of you! You see, oftentimes we look for external validation of how good of a job we've done. Please don't misconstrue my message. Your community's encouragement and affirmation are tremendous, and I'm confident that it has value. Yet there's something so powerful with looking yourself in the soul, like dead in the soul, and telling you that you are proud of you. That you value the moments that you spent giving all you had to get to this moment. You wanted this so bad. When you arrived at this great institution, you were willing to fight over hurricanes, over a pandemic, the challenges that come with every educational journey. Trust me, I know about them. And guess what? You did it. You did it! So I want you to recognize you in this moment. And that's not arrogance. That's self-recognition in building. 
See, my time here at Tulane has taught me that family is everything without debate. There are people at this institution that will be connected to me for the rest of my life. They taught me how to appreciate hard work, persistence, belief in self, patience, and most importantly, moments. Moments matter. The moment we had with the 15 white coats changed the world. The moment I matched, it changed the world. The moment I came to Tulane, it changed New Orleans. This moment matters. I'll leave you with this. I often tell my children that time is non-refundable. You can't go to the store and buy more of it for your life. Every moment you spend here, you earn this moment. It wasn't given to you. Make sure you get the pure joy and happiness that comes with this accomplishment because you spent a priceless resource to get it. Be blessed, my Tulane family. <laughs>